Oh gosh, you guys, now Harley and Lance are flirting over here. There is too much stuff happening. Spurned, oh no, the person Melody has had a crush on seems to have chosen someone else. Wait, what? Wait, <gasps> you guys, they're woohooing together. Hey rainbows and welcome back to another episode of the sims 4 dynasty i know it has been a while since the last episode so there is a lot of stuff that i will catch you guys up on some time has passed since the last episode of dynasty and we now have harley here with us so harley is here with her daughter violet so it is now so the last episode it was the beginning of their first term so now it is the beginning of astrid alexis and announcer in all of their second term and this is Harley's first term of university. So Harley has moved, oh gosh, this is really hard to maneuver, but Harley has moved in and her daughter Violet is right here. So whenever I interact with Violet. We also have all of our Sims. We have Astrid and Alexis and Alistair. I have so many A names, I realize that now. I have A names in my Royal Family series and A names in my Dynasty series, like so many of them. They're just so pretty, most of them are so pretty. But while I am explaining some things, I can actually have everyone do their homework because there's just like so much homework to do. But since some time has passed, as you guys saw in the last episode, their friend Melody was going to Foxbury because because her boyfriend Julian goes to Foxbury. And then there were some issues going on where Julian was not really paying much attention to her and like made all these new friends and kind of wasn't giving her that much attention. And he actually ended up breaking up with her. So now Melody has transferred to Brychester for this term and she is actually living next door. So she lives in the townhouse next to them, which I believe is like this one. It's one of these two. I thought about moving her in with them, but like this, there's no more rooms. Like she wouldn't have had her own room. So, I mean, her parents are plenty rich. They bought her her own townhouse, her very own townhouse. So also in the last episode, Astrid and Nico, they kind of got together, they kissed. And so basically from the first term, they had been seeing each other a little bit, but Astrid's kind of been ghosting him a little bit and he doesn't know why, but Astrid's really a very non-committal person. So I don't know, I think it made sense, but I think Nico is still trying to talk to her and trying to figure out what's going on. And then also in the last episode, episode, Devinder Krishna, who is friends or more friends with Alexis, but he has had a crush on Astrid. I need to find him. There he is. So he has had a crush on Astrid since they were young. And the last episode, he was going to try to talk to Astrid about it, but then Astrid started making out with Nico. So then he was like, oh, never mind. And then I mentioned in the last episode, I think that Alexis might have a little bit of a crush on Devinder, but she knows that he has had a crush on Astrid his whole life. So I think that's why Alexis has not really done anything about it. It, but I think very recently she started to get more of a crush on Devinder because now he's like grown up a little bit more and not just like a childhood friend anymore. So I think in this episode, we're going to explore that a little bit. Another thing we're going to explore is that there is a sorority. So I mentioned this in the last episode, Astrid and Alexis, they might wanna join the sorority that their mother was in or their mothers were in. So I, I just picked, I don't really know sorority names. So I just picked a random one. I almost said Delta Nu, but that's the, the Legally Blonde sorority. Have you guys seen the Legally Blonde musical? It's on YouTube. It's so good. It's like the one that was filmed by MTV. It's just a fun musical. It's not like a deep musical, obviously. If you guys have seen the movie, it's like basically the same thing, just with music and dancing. But anyway, so Delta Pi is the sorority that Astrid and Alexis's mothers were in when they went to Brightchester. And then now that Melody has transferred, obviously she wants to hang out with her girls. She wishes she was rooming with them, but there's really just no room for her. So I'm sure she just stays over all the time. But she She's also going to try to join Delta Pi since Alexis and Astrid are in it, because then if they are all in the sorority, they can all move into the sorority house together. So I don't, I think Astrid, do they have any more classes today? I'm not hundred percent sure. I think at the end of this episode, I will age up Violet. Someone, I think they commented that it would be interesting to have a Harley. Oh, Victoria wants to, oh, her mother wants to meet her. Um, Not right now. She, she's kind of got a baby and she has classes to deal with. So mother can come here if she wants to. But someone was saying that it would be interesting if Harley's parents and Lance's parents forced them to get married. I don't think that it's gonna work that way like it does in our Royal Family series. I also think that Violet has just been annoying the crap out of everyone that's living here. So I feel like Astrid, Alexis, and Alistair, they just wanna get out of the house. I don't think Alistair's going to be able to get out of the house, so that's the thing. I don't know where else he would go. Oh, but I do want him to have Jonah, his boyfriend, stay with him because they're long distance and I feel like the first term was really hard for him. So I think Jonah's gonna try to make more of an effort 
effort to come visit Alistair. All right, but it looks like classes are over for the day. Oh shoot, though they do need to do their homework. Actually, I think they've done most of their homework. Yeah, they've done most of their homework. So I'm going to have them try to be and join in this club. So the thing is, that Melody is not really part of our household right now. For the sake of this, why don't I just add her to the household so we can all, like all three of them can try to join the club. Okay, so Melody's here, so I'm adding her to the family. And then we are going to try to talk to this club and try to join because it's a private club or private sorority. So apply for an invite. So yes, we want to come over, but I also am going to have Alexis and Melody come too. Okay, so we have to introduce Introduce ourselves. So this is Destiny Gregory, and she is the president of the sorority. So she's going to be pretty interesting. She might be a little bit of a problem. She has the mean trait, and she's a bit of a snob. So there is that. But I do need to have Alexis and Melody and Astrid all introduce themselves to her. And then here we have Macy Brinson, and then we also have Gigi Rivera. So Gigi's real name is actually Giovanni. Ivana, but I thought Gigi would be a really cute nickname for her too. So obviously most sororities have more people, but it would be kind of limiting with this, so I didn't want to do that. But we have to introduce ourselves to all of them. Melody kind of knows them a little bit though, and I'm not sure why, or maybe they know of her. So all of these girls in the sorority, they all go to Brychester. It's a Brychester sorority, so they all have very different degrees too. I forgot exactly what each of their degrees are, but I will find out. We'll, we will find out. Okay, Um, it does kind of look like Destiny is being a little bit mean? I don't know. Astrid especially, she has gotten a pretty good relationship with Destiny, so I am going to have her apply to the sorority. It, of course, would not normally be this easy, but I think the drama is going to happen when they actually all live together. All right, so now I'm going to have Astrid apply to Delta Pi. So Astrid was accepted into Delta Pi. Okay, so now Alexis, I think she's already got a really good relationship with Destiny too, so I'm also going to have her apply. Um, apparently Melody and Destiny were being mean to each other because it looks like she has to apologize and now Destiny is feeling flirty. Okay, their relationship, they've had an offensive conversation and I can't figure out why. Okay, this isn't good. Oh no, I'm gonna feel so bad if Melody can't join the club, but Alexis and Astrid can. Why don't these girls like Melody? I don't understand. So they are now all going to their classes. I have to see if Harley, does she have a class today? She has a class in two hours. So I'm gonna have them go to their classes now and then afterward, I'm gonna try to get Melody. She's gonna join them at the bar with the sorority like the other girls and Alexis and Astrid. And then I'm gonna have to try to get her there too. And then we're gonna try to move them into the sorority house. But I also want Harley, after she gets done with her next class, I want her to invite over Lance and see how that goes. Oh my God, Violet is crying again. She keeps crying. I also, I had some people asking like, well, if Harley goes to university and Violet comes, like what is she gonna do when she goes to classes? But I mean, she is gonna have a nanny every time she goes to classes. So it's not, gonna be a problem at all, but I am going to now have her invite Lance over. So we'll see if he even comes over because I feel like he's not going to. Oh, oh, Alexander or Lance Alexander is going to be right over. Okay, so he is coming over, which is surprising to me. Oh gosh, guys. Okay, Lance is here. <gasps> Lance is here. Okay, Harley, go fish for compliments. <laughs> Say, I haven't seen you in a while. And then she has to invite him inside and he has to meet his daughter. Wait, wait, you guys. <gasps> with her. Oh my gosh, Lance. What? I don't understand him. I don't. They have a horrible relationship. He stood her up a few episodes ago and then he just tried to kiss her hands and be flirty with her. So maybe he is. Maybe he is trying to work things out with her then. Oh, oh, I just thought, so, oh, he's thinking about his baby. He's going to go say hi to Violet. Oh no. Guys, Astrid and Lance. Astrid and Lance. Oh no. She's yelling at him. She saw him and was like, what the heck are you doing here? And he's like, um, my daughter is here. All right, maybe it's time for Lance to go home. He did not get to talk to Violet though. All right, so it is now Friday and most of us have gone to class, except for Melody. I think she's still at class. So we have Jonah here. Him and Alistair started dating when they were in high school and they've been doing long distance since Alistair has gone to college. So now Jonah is visiting him for the weekend, but then so is Lyric, which is Alexis's sister. So Lyric is a teenager. She's still in high school. So this is super exciting. She's visiting her sister. I feel like she's been here before, but she's actually staying for like a whole weekend this time and getting the chance to party with her sister, which is super fun. So we are going to invite everybody to go out, I 
think, I don't know guys, I guess Harley can come and like, we'll have a babysitter for Violet and she can come. And I feel like even Harley's mother was like, you should go out, like have some fun. Like you still have your baby obviously. And like, this is obviously going to change Harley a little bit by being a mother. But I do feel like they were like, we'll hire a nanny to take care of Violet. So you can still have some experience of college. Like they're going, not, they're not going to support it if she is like partying all the time, but they want her to go out a little bit. So Violet has been sent to daycare and everyone, who are you? Everybody is here. All right, but I mean like literally everyone is here. Like I even have invited Destiny and Gigi and Macy, yeah, they're all here. I still need Melody to be able to get into this club. So I'm going to have her talk to Destiny some more. Okay, so they have a little bit of a friendly relationship now. So I'm going to just try her luck and see if she can apply to the sorority. Okay guys, Melody was accepted into Delta Pi. Jeez, finally. So I am going to have the girls move into the sorority house in a little bit, but we do need to do a few things first. Um, Astrid is already drunk, but she's feeling playful. So I guess it's a good drunk. Oh my gosh, you know what? Harley, this might be like one of the first times she's drinking after she's had her baby. Actually, probably not, but it could be. Okay, you guys, so there is a, I'm sorry, I know there's so many people and it's really hard to see, but Alexis is here and then we have Devinder here. And it looks like there's this little bit of a romantic relationship between them. So I think, uh, well, actually, I don't know. Alexis has been drinking. Oh, she's drunk. She's feeling drunk. Okay, so maybe she's going to confess her retraction and tell Devinder that she likes him. Oh, <gasps> you guys, they could have their first kiss. Wait, I don't know. I don't know. He likes Astrid though. But like maybe he recently has started to realize like it's not going to work out with Astrid. So him and Alexis have been friends for a really long time. He's playful too, so he might also be drinking. Oh gosh, you guys, Alexis and Devinder. Alexis just kissed Devinder. <gasps> oh, okay. Well then, I guess they could be a thing. Oh, it's a very awkward encounter, probably because they were in a group conversation and flirting with each other. Oh no, you guys, and Julian is here, which is Melody's ex-boyfriend who broke up with her. And I feel like Melody's still like super hurt about it and she doesn't really know why. Like he just said that he doesn't have time for her like ever since they got to college and he's kind of changed. So now she's angry and yelling. I feel like she might be a little bit drunk too. And I feel like Julian's just like, I don't want to be part of it. He's like, just trying to be cool. Oh gosh, you guys, now Harley and Lance are flirting over here. There is too much stuff happening. Everyone's drinking. I feel like this has been a common theme in the past few videos of mine. I feel like a bunch of things happen. Oh my gosh. Oh God. You guys, I just like, there's just too much. And there's too many relationships happening that are not really supposed to happen. Oh my gosh. Okay, Lance. I guess he's not into Astrid anymore? I don't know. He was so angry at Harley. Harley, like, I don't know. They hooked up and like, Harley only hooked up with him to like get back at Astrid and then he was mad at her, at her for breaking up Astrid and him and now he has a baby with her but he likes Astrid but now he's hooking up with Harley. This is so confusing. Oh my gosh, now Nico is watching Astrid dance. Okay, so a lot has happened on this little get together at the bar. So I feel like we should probably go home. So I am going to end this gathering. All right, so we are now back at the house. So I am going to have us age up Violet. So I'm actually very interested to see who she looks like, if she's going to look like Lance or if she's going to look like Harley. Okay, so. Harley is now aging up Violet. She's aging up into a toddler. Oh, I think I saw that she has Lance's hair. I'm kind of disappointed to be honest, but she is fussy. Oh no. You do not want a fussy toddler with you at college, you guys. I am going to edit her and create a sim so we can see what she looks like. All right, you guys, so this is Violet. So she definitely has Lance's hair, which is fine. I kind of wanted her to have Harley's hair, but it's okay. I'm very much like, I don't know if a lot of other simmers do this, but when they age up, I kind of just like let it be what they look like, like whatever hair color they end up with, just because it's like, you can't always control those things in real life. And I like things to be a little bit more realistic. So that's why, but that's Violet. So, oh my gosh. Okay, so she's a toddler now and she's a fussy toddler. So that's not good. I mean, both of her parents are so dramatic. So like, I don't, I can see it. I totally can see it. All right, so we are moving. Oh my God, there's so many people in this house. So we're moving them into this household. So, and then Astrid as well. So 
Astrid and them have officially moved into this sorority house. So they're not living in the same house as Harley and Alistair anymore. She's kind of, or Astrid's kind of just left her brother with Harley, but I feel like Alistair and Harley get along a little bit better than Astrid and Harley do. So I think it's fine. I did just realize I left Lyric there, didn't I? Hmm, Lyric's still visiting them for the weekend. I'm, it's okay. I'm just going to add Lyric to the household too. Okay, I just added Lyric to the household because I kind of forgot about her for a second. So, guys, this is the sorority house. They moved into a sorority house. And don't worry, we'll spend time with Harley still and everyone else. I think there is, like, I think we need one more bedroom in this. I do need to do some renovating to this. But I think it's so cool. They now live in a sorority house. And then Lyric is just staying here for the weekend. So she will go home tomorrow, which is Sunday. So so just to get to know our new characters, because we do have our new characters. So we do have a Destiny and Destiny, she is majoring in psychology. Destiny, she is mean, as I mentioned before, but she's also romantic and outgoing and a quick learner, apparently. And then we also have a Gigi. So Gigi is active, perfectionist and romantic. And she is majoring in, what is she majoring in? She's majoring in economics. And then we also have have Macy and Macy is majoring in physics. So they're all majoring in completely different things. Oh, also Harley is majoring in drama. That's what I meant to say before. So I just thought that was very fitting for her. So she's majoring in drama. And then Macy, she's outgoing and insider and she's a little bit self-absorbed, which I find interesting. I kind of didn't peg her for the type to be self-absorbed. She seems a little bit more like relaxed than the other girls, but I guess she's a little bit self-absorbed. Why? Oh my gosh, Melody and Destiny, you guys are already arguing you just moved in together what is happening right now but destiny is the president of this sorority so it's probably not a good thing that her and melody don't get along i feel like the other girls they already talked to destiny about letting melody into the club because they already let astrid and alexis into the club and they're all really good friends and then macy and Gigi probably got along with melody very well so that's why i feel like destiny let her in wait what the heck you guys why is julian here why is melody Melody's ex-boyfriend here. Oh gosh, poor Melody. I feel so bad. She literally like, she loved him so much. She went to Foxbury for him too. Oh, you guys, Melody is feeling sad. Spurned. Oh no, the person Melody has had a crush on seems to have chosen someone else. Wait, what? Uh, is that the crush? Wait. <gasps> Wait, you guys! <gasps> Destiny and Julian are sleeping together, you guys. They're woohooing together. <gasps> oh my god, is this why he broke up with Melody? He was seeing someone else, you guys. Oh my god, he was seeing Destiny. Oh my god, no wonder Destiny doesn't like Melody. She probably knows that that's his ex girlfriend. Oh my gosh, Melody is gone. <laughs> She's crying, you guys, she's crying. Oh, I feel so bad. Is she even, I don't know. Would she even say something to Destiny? I don't know. Oh my God, you guys don't have to let me know what you think. Um, I think I'm gonna end this episode here because a lot has happened. So in the next episode, we will get to focus on Melody, Destiny, and Julian, and then also Lance and Harley. You guys have to let me know what you think with the three of them and then with Lance and Harley too, because now apparently they're romantic again and they have a daughter together. But then also with Devinder and Alexis, there's so much happening, you guys. So many relationships, so much backstabbing, I feel like, too. So let me know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit that like button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!